Welcome back. I hope I'm not disturbing Aisha too much. You need to get back to that dragonfly. Hey, <laughs> um, I was going to do this without your company, and then I thought, no, wait, wait a minute. I'm missing a little teaching opportunity. So I, I hope this will be a very short video. I'm about to do the third vehicle in this row of parked cars, and it's a pickup truck. And I, I started to do it and thought, wait, 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 wait. So I wiped off what I did. Three steps for rendering an object. Now, I, I talk about this when I'm doing portraiture, when I'm doing trees, when I'm doing anything, especially anything that's formed, that has shading and that is highly detailed, or in this case, like a truck. But I don't think I've ever talked about this while rendering a truck. So I'm going to go to this one and... Uh, I guess this is a purple truck. I've got purple paint. Here's the three steps. They are, ready? Mid-tone, overall. Dark details, light details. That's it. One, two, three. Number one, mid-tone, usually local color over everything. Translucent, by the way. Now, it'll pick. Number one, translucent, mid-tone over everything. Number two, dark details. That means transparent dark details. Number three, light opaque highlights. So let me do that. Here it is, number one. So I've got a, a bluish purple color on my brush. And I just want to give the, the truck a hint of this color. That might be enough. Now I'm avoiding the windshield somewhat, as you can see, but I'm going to come in here and actually do it a little bit as well. Because we're, we're seeing light through that truck. So I'm done, step number one. Step number two is dark, transparent details. All dark is almost always transparent. And do I have a picture of a truck here? I'm sorry, let me... I'm... No, I don't. I'm disappointed that I didn't take a picture of these vehicles the day that I was down there because I would really, really much rather be looking at uh, samples of this than... Uh, doing it from my from memory. Sometimes when I'm doing something like a vehicle from memory, I will go to Google and I'll search for pickup truck from the back. And if there's a lot of them, I would say blue pickup truck from the back or blue pickup truck back. And very often you can find the vehicle, a vehicle that will do the job, and then you can use that as reference. But in this case, I've painted so many pickup trucks that I really think I can probably do it. So, okay, I'm on step number two, which again is dark details. And the word detail would certainly would have to be in quotation marks. How detailed is it? Well, not very, <laughs> you know, not, not too detailed. Okay, and I think I'm done. And step number three, which is light highlights. And anytime you're doing light, of course, then yes, now you're doing opaque stuff. But it can be trans it can be translucent or opaque. So first, I'm mixing up a medium uh, cool gray on my brushes, and I'm trying to think where the, where the reflection would be happening on this truck, of course, on the roof, because the light's coming from the other side here. And a little bit of more light coming through that window. Now, this might be a good place, actually, for a palette knife. Let me find my favorite palette knife. That's funny. It's not here. I must have dropped it somewhere. Okay, I'll use a less than favorite palette knife. Uh, this one will do. Picking up the same color off my palette and putting it on the edge. So I want a pretty sharp edge, right? A sharp edge of reflection. Good enough? Yeah? Same thing over here. Maybe not quite as pronounced. Good enough. And then same thing here on the tailgate of the truck. Enough of the palette knife for now. 
Put that down more. Now I'm going to this last step. Step number three is uh, is light detail. Step one, mid tone over everything. Step two, dark detail. Step three, light. And you might be saying, well, does it matter if we s reverse the order? Can we do it in a different order? Can I do darks and lights and mediums, or mediums and lights and darks? Or can, can I? And the answer is no. <laughs> of course not. Let me back up. Every every rule can be broken. Every rule can, by the way, now I'm messing up what I did with the pallet knife, by the way. Every rule can be broken, but you have to know the rule first, and then there's got to be a good reason for breaking it. And usually you're able to describe what that reason is. Um, and you say, well, why, I, um, why, is, it, why is that a rule? Why, do you, why is it mid, dark, and then light? Um, it's related to a whole bunch of other rules, like we don't like seeing dark paint on top of light paint. Uh, again, all of this will be spelled out in my book. Um, that is, I'm working on when I can. Let me go back to that palette knife. Okay, I was going to say, step three, though, I'm going to do more than once. That is to say, step three is light, opaque highlights. Now I'm mixing up more titanium white into my paint. This is step 3B, if you will, which is lighter opaque highlights. Does that make sense? So I'm just doing almost the same color I did a few minutes ago, but just slightly lighter. And I may do e that even one more time. Again, another one of the laws of painting. We almost always like to see a slightly lighter color of paint, slightly lighter value shade of on than than what's underneath. Okay, tail lights, and I'm almost done with this truck. Just a little bit of chaos in there. Um, I think that's I think that'll do. No, you know what? This the the. The dots of light in the windshield are bothering me a little bit. I think if I diminish that one, I might be okay. Okay, good enough. I said this was going to be a short episode. I believe that'll do. So I'm most I'm done with that row of cars. I'll do a little bit of something back here. I have many other things to do in the painting. Most of them are short and brief like that, but that'll do for now. Thanks for watching. Now let me see if you've left any comments. I'll turn you around first of all. And uh, Coffee Cat, something wrong with the sound. Uh oh, thank you for letting me know. I will check on that again. I love the way you enter vehicles. Thank you, Toby. Coffee Cat, every rule can be broken. True. Thanks, Coffee. I don't, I don't think you've been on before, have you? Good to have you. I hope you've subscribed so you can join me again. I will check on the sound. Thanks for that notification. Okay, I'll be back later on this afternoon.